mmoja wamefariki katika taifa la Rwanda na Uganda huku shughuli za uokoaji zikiendelea kufuatia mafuliko hayo na kama anavyotuarifu mwana habari wetu Elizabeth Atieno ni kwamba hali sawa na hiyo imeshuhudiwa katika kaunti ya Wasingishu baada ya wakulima kukadiria hasara huku shughuli za huduma za afya pia zikitetezika kufuatia mafuriko Hali ya mafuriko imeathiri wakazi katika kaunti ya Wasingishu baada ya mafuriko kusomba mazao katika baadhi ya mashamba katika kaunti hiyo. Huduma za afya katika hospitali za Chembulet eneo la Moiben zimetatizika. What happened is that uh, the natural uh, waterway around this area uh, the way that uh, the, the lines that have been draining water from around uh, this area the hospital and the farms nearby were obstructed. Uh, by farmers downstream. Now what happened is, is that uh, because of the heavy rains that we have witnessed in the last few days, uh, there was a serious clock and uh, a lot of water accumulated into a pool around here and uh, that uh, seeped back and uh, interfered uh, with the septic uh, that serves this hospital or this facility of uh, Chambulet Health Center. Katika mkoa wa Karongi taifa la Rwanda, magharibi, hii ndio taswira. Mchanganyiko wa maji na mchanga yamefurika kupita kiasi huku mamia ya wakazi wakiwambioni kuokoa maisha na baadhi ya mali wanayomiliki. My wife was standing near the window when the flood water came through. She fell down and as I tried to carry my child out of the house, I was pushed down but luckily I got out and I am safe although some trees underneath did injure my legs. Ni mafuriko yaliyosababisha vifo vya watu 129 kutoka taifa la Rwanda na wengine sita kutoka taifa la Uganda baada ya mtu Sebeya kuvunja kingo zake. As you can see I'm left with nothing. No bed and no household. I came here for a job. I'm safe but all my belongings are gone. Kulingana na rais wa Rwanda Paul Kagame, serikali ya Rwanda imeanza shughuli ya kutoa makao kwa wakazi wanaoathirika na mafuriko. Elizabeth Atieno, TV 47.